Today, we are gonna talk about Hogak Arisen Necropolis. This was one of the most powerful cards to ever exist in modern, taking over the format and being one of the most feared creatures of all time. Not only did this card get banned, but it only lasted three months. So in this first episode of the Modern Rewind, we will take a deep dive into how Hogak rose to the top of modern and ultimately got banned. This is when it all started. This was the Magic World's first peak at Hogak Arisen Necropolis. Some people completely missed the power level of Hogak, with Star City Games not even putting Hogak in their top 10, and many other players completely dismissing the card. But some did recognize that this was at least somewhat of a powerful card, with Flipside Gaming rating it at number four in the Modern Horizon set. While some did know Hogak would be powerful, no one could see that the power level of Hogak would completely dominate the modern format and be called the Hogak Summer. With Modern Horizons being released on Magic Online on June 7th, 2019, Hogak immediately made an impact on the modern format. With the first Modern Challenge, which is an online event with hundreds of players, Hogak had 10 decks in the top 32. This was also the first weekend of Hogak being legal in the format, a modern format that was super established. Decks like Arc Light Phoenix, Dredge, Humans, and many other powerful decks that had to have bannings as well. So why was Hogak actually so powerful in this format? This was because the first build consisted of cards like Bridge from Below, Faithless Looting, Altar of Dementia, Hogak, three of which are banned now in the modern format. The problem was this deck had a combo finish where you could mill them out with Altar Dementia with sacking Hogak and getting a bunch of zombies from Bridge from Below, which made it a very consistent deck and it was very powerful. And its backup plan was turned to having 16 plus power on the board, which is also absurdly broken. This was not just a one-time weekend where the deck performed well without there being hate for it. Dredge was already an established archetype, so there was much graveyard hate in the format. Additionally, the dominance of Hogak continued to plague modern, causing for decks to main deck Leyline of the Void and other graveyard hate, including Hogak themselves. The reign of terror was finally over. Wizards of the Coast released a banned and restricted announcement stating Bridge from Below was banned. Many thought that this was the end of the Hogak deck and would finally see a stable and healthier modern format. But little did we know, this was just the beginning of the end. A lot of the time when people talk about your team, they talk about how great you guys are at tuning decks, refining decks, and often that gets kind of characterized as standard decks. Yes. But we've got modern going on here. How's your testing been? It's been really good. I think we identified uh, some of the holes in modern and uh, really adapted to give ourselves at least the best game one chance to do well with main deck ley lines here uh, in a Hogak metagame. Once people figured out that Hogak was still the strongest card in Modern, the deck became even stronger. While no longer had a combo finish without Bridge from Below, it became more consistent, better against Graveyard Hate, and even having more explosive starts onto the board. At Mythic Championship 4, or as people called it, Mythic Championship Hogak, while the top 8 of the tournament results only had one Hogak deck in the top 8, the real story was the win rates of the Hogak decks. The two highest win rate decks both played a playset of Hogaks. In addition to doing so well at Mythic Championship 4 with the high win rates, in the two months after the Bridge from Below ban, Hogak got 13 top 8 finishes and 4 GPs. This is an average of 3.2 decks in the GP top 8s, which is crazy. But the final nail in the coffin for Hogak was at GP Las Vegas, where it had 5 decks in the top 8, and only 2 days later, Hogak Arisen Necropolis was no longer legal in the modern card pool. With Hogak having less than three months of legality in Modern, it still has one of the biggest impacts on a single format of all time. While it does see some fringe play in Legacy, overall, Hogak had its time in the sun and will forever be known as the Hogak Summer. Thank you all for watching the first episode of the Modern Rewind. Please consider leaving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next Rewind.